Welcome back. The education continues now for our new heavyweight hope, Anthony Joshua, MC John McDonald. Glasgow, Scotland, are you ready to eat the big one? Please welcome to the ring, AJ Anthony Joshua! Ladies and gentlemen, here in the beautiful city of Glasgow, Scotland, Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Sport proudly presents six rounds in the heavyweight division. Or sponsored by 888 Sport, Tenants, Advanced Construction, M8 Recovery and the Scottish Sun. And we are live on Sky Sports and live in the United States of America on AWE, a wealth of entertainment. For the thousand joining us here live and the millions joining us around the world, welcome to the big one. Here we go. Introducing to you, fighting out of the red corner wearing the white trunks trimmed with blue, weighing in at 16 stone, six pounds. 38 fight record, 22 wins, 14 inside the scheduled distance, 15 defeats and one draw. Coming to the ring as the former Argentinian cruiserweight champion and the winner of the WBC Mondo Hispano Heavyweight Championship from San Miguel, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Now, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed with top. Weighing in at 17 stone, he's undefeated. Four contests, four wins, all inside the scheduled distance. He comes to the ring at the two-time ABA champion and the 2012 Olympic gold medalist. Honored by Her Majesty the Queen, he is a member of the British Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by. Here he is, AJ Anthony Joshua. So it's six rounds of action. Time here with Jim Kirk and our referees, Victor Lockland. Six rounds in the heavyweight. Division. 
OK, gents, you know the rules. Obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. Touch gloves. Touch them up. Jim, people from my part of the world don't usually get welcomes like that in Glasgow. This guy has got a Glasgow crowd eating out of the palm of his hand. They love him already. Yeah, because, you know, he conducts himself so well. You know, he doesn't carry the way with, with the fame that he's, uh, he's heading towards. He's down to earth. He's likeable. And he's terrific to watch. And he's facing a man here who's uh, won more than he's lost, with a fair bit of experience behind him, so this is not the worst match. He's got a couple of damning stats against him, though, Avila, as a right hand gets through early. He's been stopped 11 times, four of them inside two rounds, and some of those against full-blown cruisers as well. And I think he's already felt the power of that Joshua right hand. And he doesn't travel well. This is his tenth fight outside of Argentina. He has yet to get a win. So Joshua just taking his time, measuring him up. And as everyone says, to go nine rounds with Derek Chisora, you're not a chump. A little bit crude and a little bit slow. So he's going to pay for that unless he can get his hands up a little bit tighter and come in behind a high guard. You know, he's, uh, he's been picked off already. Seeing some of those double jabs that uh, Glenn McCrory was asking for. Massive physical advantages, of course. Anthony Joshua, it's all about capitalising on him. Moving well tonight, taking his time, measuring his man. And he doesn't get hit, which is good, you know. I mean, he must know when he goes in with these guys, you know. He's a certain, it's no certain victory. No, but he doesn't get sloppy, he doesn't get the silly. His concentration is good, his technique is good, and he's a lot of punches. Go again. That's rocked him. He's in trouble here already in the first round, the Argentinian. And Joshua senses it and goes to work, picking some wicked body shots, and eventually Avila has to just hang on. But he's shaken up already. He looked at his corner there as if to say, what have you done to me? And he's gone. And I don't think he wants any part of this. He's holding his ear as if the ear's gone, but now, no. He's moved it away and he's not getting up. He had no interest. He's looking at the referee as if to say, why have you stopped it? <laughs> well, he was stopped because he was in all sorts of trouble with the count at nine. Anthony Joshua hears the cries of easy, easy, and they are loving him here. That's what they come to see, that's what they expect to see when Anthony Joshua's on the bill. And it was a decent punch, it didn't land full force, but it seemed to catch a beat on the cheekbone. And I don't think he was acting when he went down, I think he was genuinely hurt. He's recovered quickly enough from it. But uh, what was the point in that continuing? I think all the ambition was knocked out of it, of it here, and the, the bust that was saw over uh, against the ropes there. So, yeah. Anthony, once again, has given the people what they've expected to see, and he did it well. And just listen to these fans. If they weren't believers before, they certainly are now. Utterly ruthless from Anthony Joshua. And you can't fault the way he was delivering the punches over it against the ropes there. I mean, he was digging them in, there were body shots, head shots. Maybe he was doing well to, to cover up and well of the storm, but I think it knocked any ambition that he might have had out of him. And then the first decent punch he took from there on, it was over. Well, this is the assault that started it all. He really picked some good shots here. Working the body as well, and he felt this power of Ela. Yeah, he's partially blocking these, but I mean, the power is pounding right through the defence. And I think from that point on, Avia was knowing, yep, this is not going to last much longer, and I'll be making sure of that. But that was a decent punch that finished it, caught him on the cheekbone. So I think there's actually pain there. You can actually see him holding the cheekbone. So I wonder maybe if there's some damage been done there. But that was a decent punch. That was a decent punch, and there was absolutely no point whatsoever trying to get back up again and back into it. Oh, look a shock on his face there as he, as, as he landed. Oh, that's clinical. 
disturbed. I think you can see he's, he's in actual pain there. It's not that his head scrambled. This is though there's a little bit of damage there. Yeah, that was a good shot. Well, he was critical of himself last time, Anthony Joshua. Surely there's nothing not to like about that performance. Took his time to measure him up. Got a few double jabs in there as well. Had his man in trouble, and then when he was in trouble, with one punch, he wiped him out. Simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Kirkwood has recorded a time of two minutes, 14 seconds of the first round. Avilia on a countout, your winner, and taking his record to five with five wins, all inside the general distance. It's AJ Anthony Joshua! A big, big hit in Glasgow tonight, Anthony Joshua. And he's done in one round what Derek Chisora did in nine which is something that will be noted in certain quarters, I'm sure. Although Joshua will be the first to say, no way am I ready for the likes of Chisora yet, but this career is bubbling along very nicely indeed. And a little whisper in the ear there from Eddie Hearn. I wonder what uh, he just had to say. Surely Eddie's got to be happy, and surely Anthony after that has got to be a very happy man indeed. Well, Anthony, congratulations. The first round win, did that go perfectly to plan for you? Did that go perfectly to plan? Uh... Oh, you know what I'm like, but uh, there's definitely an improvement from my last bout, and that's what I was looking for. And I think it was clear to see that uh, some some improvements were made. You can't find any criticism with your own performance there. You didn't get hit. <laughs> yeah, but as we go up, as we go, up, just you know what it is. Just got to keep on improving. As the opponents get better, we want to keep on doing that. That's all it is. You've not been beyond two rounds yet, though, in five pro fights. Is that a worry down the line as far as your development goes? Or are you happy to be knocking these guys out? You know, like, um, when people are knocking guys out, there's always that question, can they go the distance? But um, everyone trains hard in the gym. But I think mentally, I'm ready to go six, eight. This was my last six rounder, right? It's my last six rounder, so now we're going to go into eight rounds. So. And the opponents are going to get tougher. This year is going to be an interesting year. And there will be a time when you see me go past two, three. And I bet you on it that I'll be fine. Talk us through the performance. You trapped him on the ropes. Your footwork looked good. You were stepping to the side and thinking about your work, and then that lovely left hook counter to finish. Yeah, um, I think like I've had many, many receptions before in uh, in boxing, but I've never had anything like this in Glasgow. And I think, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never had anything like this in Glasgow. And um, I think that spared me on, you know what I mean, to get my stuff right, because I wanted to put on a performance. These guys showed me lots of love coming out here, so I wanted to give it back by putting on a performance like that. You've boxed in England, you've boxed in Wales, you've boxed in Scotland. Now, this is reminiscent of the Olympics, the reception you've got. Is that part of the plan for the British tour? Yeah, I, I'd love to come back here, you know. That was one round. I would love to come back here next week. It was, it was real good. So, it's not about me anymore. We've got Ricky Burns coming in, and let's all get behind him and support him. Talk us through the plan for the rest of the year. What's the way forward? Keep progressing. We've got a problem because you know people will criticise the opponent. He just did nine rounds with Chisora out there. He's gone one round with Joshua. But you know it's about showcasing anti Joshua all over the country. And, you know and, and bringing him to Scotland. That that was incredible. You know to see him walk out in that kind of reception. And that's why we love coming here so much. But you know another faultless performance from anti Joshua. Roll on. He's he's out on April the 19th in Manchester. He's going all the way. You know, we've got a problem because I feel he's ready for the division now. But we've got to progress him in the right way, keep learning. But uh, right there, you've got something very special. How do you get the balance right? Because obviously the fans want knockouts, but they also want to see Anthony tested. Of course, and he will be tested. You know, we hoped Alvia would give him some rounds. Like I said, nine rounds against Chisora less than a year ago. So um, we step it up again, go to eight rounds. We look abroad, we look internationally. The names of Sprott and Skelton have all been put in the mix. They're perfect for Anthony, I believe, next. And I think, you know, we look at that and then we look at a British title within six months. Is Anthony progressing faster than you thought he would? Yeah, much faster. You know, I mean, again, he's making opponents look bad. Um, you know, it, like I said, a lot of people in the team feel like he's ready, but we've got to do things right. When you've got something this special, you can't waste it. Anthony, British champion, hopefully, by the end of the year. That's the plan. Speak to Eddie, speak to my manager, but um, to have a British belt around my waist, I would never turn that down, so bring it on. You enjoying the ride? Yeah, I always have been. Since I stepped foot in the gym, uh, I've always trained hard, and, and boxing's changed my life. So uh, 
I'm really enjoying this. Well done, Anthony. Really exciting times, Johnny. Bring it on. Oh, my goodness. Glenn, this might be a really stupid question, but have you got any criticism? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Other than he should have a little bit more green in his tartan. That was, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. No, I think he answered the question, Joe. I said beforehand to criticise him on not doubling his jab, he doubled his jab, and from the darts fight, when he got him on the ropes, he then started putting his shots together. And you know, the way against darts, he just threw them straight out, in, like that, with arm punches this time. He stopped, he settled, he threw body punches, threw head shots, took a bit more time, so he's thinking already. Very impressive. I'd like to say to you, Lou, do you feel like a, a, a proud younger brother? But you're actually older than him, aren't you? I am older than him. <laughs> believe that. Proud. You know, I, I am proud. I'm very proud. You know, we've um, we've been on the amateur journey together, and now we're on the pro journey together as well. His timing, his accuracy, his speed, power. I think he's a package. Ah, let's look at this. Look how we how this guy sets his shots up. Tell me what you see. Well, the the left hook that that, that won the fight for him. It was so nice and short, you know, and that's unusual for a big heavyweight, you know, especially with his stature, to throw a left hook of that nature, round right a little bit of Riddick Bow, the way Riddick Bow used to throw his left hook, but I told you the fight wouldn't last four rounds, didn't it? There's no point in sitting down. On ring side, he came in, he showed us how he aged him with the footwork, settled himself down. Did you see that? Yes, de definitely, you know, he is settled. The one thing you can see already is he's a very quick learner. I mean, you can tell that in his career. He hasn't been in boxing that long. Silver medal in the world, Olympic gold. So he is progressing very quick, and I think he will carry on like that. He's got the physical stature. He's got the popularity. I mean, there's just great things out there for him. OK, let's get realistic. We'll look at the top ten. If he's talking about his hopes are getting, I don't know, a British title fight within the next 12 months, who would you put him in? Who's on the fringe? Who can you, you sit him in with and think, right, that's a good progression? Look at that top ten ranking. Well, you know, you're looking at, at people like Michael Sprott. Now, Michael Sprott, that's somebody that you, you're learning against. Um, Matt Skelton might just be a little bit big and rough just yet. Uh, I, I think he'd have the beating of, of Audley Harrison all, already. You know, so he's already starting to make waves and he's already he's going to be looking at the, the bottom few. Maybe a Sam Sexton, you know, within the next 12 months. Would you read, would, what, what would you pick out of that, Alex? I think he can beat them all. Already? Already, I think he's probably the best heavyweight in the country. Yeah, definitely. Is that too fast, too deep? Lamachonko's so. fighting the world title tonight. Exactly. Second professional fight. Exactly. You, you can't. Know, I, I, I know what you're saying. He's relatively he's inexperienced all round. He's as got well, more potential, know, but... but you can't take a chance with somebody like him Why? with a big... I just don't... I think he needs a little bit more grounding. Let's talk to somebody who knows. What do you think? <laughs> I think he's definitely got the ability, no question about it. I think as an heavyweight, I think he, he needs to do a few rounds. He needs to be in there that a guy who's going to give him the rounds a little bit more. And then once... then he, It's a learning curve when you go later in the rounds. But the ability... No problem. So what a performance by Anthony Joshua. You're watching Sky Sports, your home of sport.